Have you ever wondered how finding great products really look like and what does it take? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Now, there are a bunch of tools and a bunch of methods out there that you could use or you could utilize to finding products, but personally, I love Helium 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to jump into my computer, go through the dashboard of Helium 10, show you my personal product research criteria and the parameters that we set to finding great products. We'll go from there. So Helium 10 has a bunch of different tools, anywhere from you know uh, sending emails to your customers after they purchase to get them to buy uh, to leave you reviews, all the way to uh, you know optimizing and managing your PPC campaigns to finding keywords for certain products and so on. However, one tool that I personally love is this tool called the black box. Now, what the black box does is that it actually shows you exactly products or, or it pulls products from Amazon according to certain parameters that you personally set. So the very first thing that I personally love doing is that I love to look into categories that I feel like I want to sell in. Now, the cool thing about these categories is that number one, they are uh, I guess you can call them like vanilla categories. They are categories where are not restricted. Um, they're not gated. You know, anybody can simply uh, list a product in those categories. You don't need special approvals or special, uh, you know, uh, documentations or anything to list in. So that's the very first thing that I'm going to do. For me, these are the categories that I like to sell in. I'll go for baby. Um, then I will select health and household, home and kitchen, industrial and scientific, kitchen and dining office products, pet supply, sports and outdoors, and then toys and games, okay? Now, although toys and games could be um, could be uh, restricted, so you just have to be a little careful with that, but for the sake of this video, we are going to keep it. Now, the second thing is, you know, you wanna do is you want to figure out exactly what kind of a product you want to look for. Now, before you start saying, well, I want to look for a product that makes me 10000 or $20,000 or $50,000 per month, the very first thing they have to think about is how much money do I have, right? That's the very first thing they have to think about. If you have $2,000, you need to look for a product that's different than if you have 10000 or if you have 20000 right? You can sell on Amazon if you have 2000 It'll probably be a little bit more difficult. I suggest you have at least three to 5000 to launch product, five to 7000 if you want to launch a product plus have and, you know, uh, someone actually teach you and walk you through it and show you how it's done. Uh, you know, for instance, if, if you want to have BJK University help you out. So the very first thing you have to think about is how much money do I have? Say, for instance, you've got about $5,000 to launch a product. I'm going to walk this video according to that criteria. Now, look, if you're enjoying this video so far, please do me a favor, smash that thumbs up button. Also, if this is your first time to the channel, please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel as we drop brand new videos every single week about selling on Amazon and other topics to help you crush it out there. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say monthly revenue. What is the monthly revenue that I want to shoot for? What I want to do is I want, so I have $5,000. If I have $5,000, I can probably make at least $10,000 per month, eight to 10,000. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to go for a minimum of $8,000. So I need a product that makes me a minimum of $8,000. Now, you can also go and put in a price, right? What I suggest is that you either do a price or revenue. So you could either say, I want a product that produces about $8,000 a minimum per month, or you could delete that and then say, you know what? I want a product that sells for, you've got $5,000, you need, should take out $500. I've got another video in the channel where I talk about how to budget correctly. I take out $500 out of my um, total budget to come up with my product budget. Product budget is my total budget minus $500. And that $500 usually goes to creating a listing, photography, tools, all that stuff to buy Helium 10, all that. And by the way, below this video, we're also going to link a, uh, a coupon code where you can get 50% off to your very first month of Helium 10 and also another coupon code where you can get 10% off uh, um, of Helium 10 moving forward. You're going to see those videos below uh, or those links below this video. Uh, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my price uh, $4,500. Say I want to order at least 300 units divided by 300, that means um, I can afford a product that costs me 
right? So then you could say, okay, well, I could do $15 minimum. Now, what is the maximum? Well, the maximum is you shouldn't be ordering more than 200 units. I mean, less than 200 units, my bad, right? So you shouldn't be ordering less than 200 units. So that means that the product cost could be as high as $22.50. I will say $20. However, this is not the cost price. This is the sell price. Now we have a, um, we have a, you know, we teach our students that whatever product cost is, your sell price should be four times that or, or vice versa. Whatever the product sell price is, your cost should be 25% of that. So if $15 is your minimum uh product cost, then four times that is $60, right? I think that's a little too high. We're going to do $30. The highest we can go $60, right? So you could either do this or you could do the revenue. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to do revenue. It's just easier. The second thing that I'm going to worry about is review count. Now, this determines how competitive the product is and, and how... Um, I guess how much you can, um, like how easy it is to compete, right? Up to 250, 300, um, up to 250 or 300 reviews on average is good. So I'm just gonna say 250 because you're a beginner, you've never sold on Amazon. 300 is a little too much, I would say 250, right? Now you could go and do other parameters. So you could go and say, well, you know, I want to make sure that the product that I'm going to sell isn't very large. It's a small product because your shipping costs will be high. I also want the average rating of a product to be, let's say, not more than three stars because that means there is room for improvement, right? You can also go into advanced filters and say, you know, like all this stuff you could do. For me personally, I like to stick to this stuff. Keep it simple. Kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Either do this or remove this and then do your price, right? So for the sake of this video, we're just going to say we're going to do the revenue and then we're going to do a product. And then we're going to actually search a product, right? And then I'm just going to keep going down. So in my mind, I know I want to sell things like that. In my mind, I want to sell something that's not seasonal. That's number one. Number two, I want to make sure that the product that I sell fits in a shoebox because my shipping cost is going to be high, especially now with you know, container costs going from 2000 to 16,000. You don't want your product to be very heavy or very large. The third thing, I want to make sure that it is not breakable because again, it's coming all the way from overseas and it'll be stored in Amazon's warehouse. It's going to sit there for maybe a few days, a couple of weeks till it goes to the customer. I don't want it to break. So those are the three things that I'm going to focus on. As again, number one, I don't want it to be seasonal. Number two, I don't want it to, uh, to be very big or very heavy. Number three, I don't want it to be, you know, breakable. Right. So I'm going to focus on those three. So while I have those three things in mind, this is how I'm going to kind of go through this. Right. Now, obviously, everything else should be according to my criteria. So I shouldn't be worried about, well, it needs to also fit this right, uh, this categories and it need to, needs to fit this criteria because Helium 10 has already done that for me. Right. So then I'm going to go here and what is that? So vinyl privacy window film adhesive grass. Okay. So this could be something we can check it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, if I click on the here, it will actually pull up the product on Amazon, right? So this looks like one way. Um, so, okay. So this, this is the interesting thing. It's a perforated vinyl privacy window uh, adhesive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say um, perforated, um, Vinyl wrap, window wrap, vinyl window wrap. Okay. So this feels, and then what I want to do is also I want to take this to here and then I want to change it, right? So this is what I want to do is once I found a product that I feel like, okay, this might be something, right? Then Helium 10 got this cool. tool that's called x-ray when you click on x-ray x-ray is going to pull all the information from other sellers right it's going to pull you know how much uh they sell for how much money they make per month how many reviews they have how long they've been selling for uh, 
um, all the stuff, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look over here. Now, the very first thing that pops at me right away is the fact that it's brand dominated. That's the other thing that I want to watch out for. I don't want one brand to have more than three listings. And the fact that there are two brands that have definitely a lot more than three listings, this is where I'm going to stop and I'm going to move on because this product is brand dominated. So then I'm going to completely delete this and I'm going to go to the next one. What is that? So um, Laminator, uh, Thurman Laminated and Corp. Okay, this is a little complicated. It's not a, it's not a, it's not your regular easy product, you know, like, like this kind of like your simple product laminator. I don't know. That's just too much work for me. Uh, Wizard of, of O's Pet Custom. Okay, so this might be something cool, but then maybe it's because of Halloween, the numbers are high, right? We can check that. So what we could do is we can Wizard of O's Collection Pet Custom. So what we could do is we could actually take that and then we can go to Amazon and type that in there and then see, it's probably because of Halloween. That's why it's, it's showing that it's a good product, but it really isn't, you know? And then here's how we can check if the product is seasonal or not. So once you pull up X-Ray at Helium 10, by the way, if you want Helium 10, be sure to click the link below to get 50% off first month and then 10% off moving forward. So right, Next to um, the keyword, there is this thing. So you see how it says NA, that means search volume. That means the search volume isn't a lot. And I'm looking for a search volume of a minimum 3,000 monthly searches, right? So what I was going to do is I was going to look for the trend and see how this keyword is trending, but obviously it doesn't even have any search volume. So I'm going to probably pass on this one. Um, Okay, pills, I don't do any of that. Fridge, wow, okay, uh, that's interesting. All right, so here's one problem. The problem is um, I did not set a max. So you wanna make sure that you set a max, right? So let's just say that my max is $20,000 because do you see how it's coming, you know, bringing up like funny products like this one is $300, this one is $2,000. Obviously we don't wanna do that. Uh, we don't, we want to set a max for our revenue. That way it's it's not showing us all these crazy products, right? Um, let's see, maybe we even bring this down to 10,000 per month. So that's 10,000. Okay, so then we keep going down. Uh, what is that? So self-healing cork bulletin board. Huh, that's interesting. So self-healing bulletin board. Okay, well, it's not just a regular bulletin bo board. It's a self-healing. That's interesting. Never seen that before. So self-healing cork bulletin board. So I'm going to take that keyword and then I'm going to go to all departments and then I'm going to paste that in Amazon. And then I'm going to see what these numbers look like. Okay, well, this is something. All right, so do you see how, again, the same, the, same, um, the same brand is dominating? Again, this is not a niche that I want to be in, right? But then what if I remove the word cork? And this is where, um, this is where like playing with words could actually help you out. So you don't want to just completely dump the product just because you know it doesn't uh, match, uh, or or there is a bunch of uh, sellers or you know a bunch of listings by the same seller. You want to start playing around with with the words and then see what really happens and if if anything different comes up, right? So obviously because I know that it's uh, brand dominated, that's the very first thing I want to look at. If that's the case, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, remove. Okay, so 
All right. So maybe it's the the niche of of self healing that this. Um, okay. See, I like this. Okay. So I think it's the self healing that's really what's going on here. Okay. So so I like the cork. But here's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna remove the self healing. And then I'm gonna just leave cork bulletin board and see what happens now, right? I am almost 100% sure this is not gonna be brand dominated by the other, by that other um, brand, but it's probably going to be, let's see here. Okay, there we go. So what I like to do is I like to remove the sponsored uh, products because those have made it here by paying their way in. So although there is, okay, two, two by the same, but then everybody else, look at this. This is a perfect product. Look at these. Okay. It's a little bit competitive, but then do you see how there is a few sellers that are, that have 846 reviews, 39 reviews, and still doing very decent. 7,000, 8,000 right within where I want to be, right? So this is, this is the revenue count that I want to be in. Okay. So as you can see here, the very first thing is, Okay, so 1700, I want it to be at least two to 3000. So maybe I will start playing around with keywords so I can find a better keyword. And this is where Helium 10 actually has another, um, another tool called, where is it? It is called Magnet. Nope, no, that's not it. Uh, keyword search, there we go. It's called Magnet. So when you go to Magnet, you could actually type the keyword that you have or bulletin board, and then it'll give you all the other keywords that are relevant or related to that keyword, right? And then you can also change the marketplace that you're looking in. So then from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the price. So the price, you know, I want to be between 20 to $40 or so. This is right around there. Revenue is amazing, right? Reviews are a little high, but then I go down and I look at these two guys and those two have low reviews within the 250 that I was looking at, and they are they have revenue within the revenue that I was looking for, right? So there's definitely potential here in this product. Now, obviously this is not it to determining that this is a, an, a, an amazing product and that this product is a go, right? There are a few other steps, but before I get into those few other steps, if you want to learn from BJK University, if you want to learn from us and so that we can walk you through how to select the right product, how to differentiate it correctly, how to launch it on Amazon, there is a short presentation that I walk you through exactly how we do what we do. Then you'll have a chance to speak to one of our enrollment coaches. Do be sure to click the link below this video. Um, now, the next thing that you wanna do is you wanna figure out how are you gonna differentiate the product? So here are a few things for you to know. After you find a product, you want to differentiate. Now, I'm not saying that this is a good product and go launch it because there are a few other things that I would like to look into. Uh, and right now this product is at, is at about a five or six out of 10 for me. But a few other things, let's say you determine that this is a great product and that you want to launch it. Uh, the next thing you wanna look at is how, how can I differentiate the, this product? How can I stand out? The second thing is how much can I price it for? And then once you have this, these two information, then you can go and start, you know, talking to manufacturers and start finding a manufacturer that can produce the product for you at 25% of your sell price of whatever the sell price is. As you can see, the average sell price here is $20, $25, although there's a few that are selling for much higher. So then you have to determine, do I sell it for the $20 price range? Do I go for the more expensive? There are some as high as $500. So those are all questions they have to ask yourself when you're finding products and you need to know exactly how to do all the stuff. Now there's obviously a lot more to finding great products and using Helium 10 to the max. If you want us to show you exactly step-by-step -step on how to crash out on Amazon, click the link below. We'll take it from there.